Working a 9 to 5 job as a freelancer is something you should consider if you need more income. So the question is, can a freelancer consider working a 9 to 5 job to augment income? Yes, for these seven reasons. This is not something out of the book or somewhere. This is something that I lived. I have been an entrepreneur now for 14 years. And I started my first business in 2009. And by 2017, I had quit paid employment. So that was how many years? Eight years as a freelancer, right? I was working on top of the range, you know, director level, management level jobs. In those eight years, while I was still kickstarting and running my business, I mean, I had channel partners, I had staff, and they would report usually in my office if I need them to come pick up something or brainstorm, and they go. And I manage it a lot because I had an understanding with my employers as well. So yes, yes, if you are at that place where you're like, okay, this thing doesn't come all the time, every entrepreneur knows you might you don't have the even with your marketing and sales, you don't have the um, clock to be sure that okay at this stage I'm going to get continuous jobs every time especially when you're not selling products even when you're selling products even you are not so sure when to when jobs are going to come for you to have consistent income so that is a thing especially with the, the world going through recession and all of the cash crunch having multiple streams of income have become a thing side hustles have become a thing and of course one of the ways that you can survive as a freelancer in today's age is to get a job any job at all i'm using nine to five just as an example it could be hourly jobs it could be you know any other thing that pays you a fixed sum of income and for these seven reasons number one you are sure of something coming in all the time i remember having a conversation with my husband sometimes and he's like and i'm like thank god though that at least from your own end is steady even though my own can fluctuate because I'm the one that runs the business exclusively, right? But I'm also not a business, but he has a more stable income. So a 9 to 5 job is a blessing, can be a blessing if you want to get out of the whole cash crunch. You can you know, alleviate all of the stress. Full-time employment also comes with benefits like health insurance, pension, some of those things that are very, very, very suiting you know that you may not have as a freelancer on your job now so having them can cushion the effect of what will happen by and by at the instant of old age accident inability to work again can i have something to rely on you get so you can always do your freelancer job at your free time while you work a nine to five job the third reason why i think you should get a nine to five job if you're struggling as a freelancer is that you are able to develop yourself personally full-time jobs will you know usually sponsor you for trainings networking you meet more people in the industry you will learn to develop yourself because of the exposures that you get that you may not be able to fund on your own as a small business owner as a freelancer so taking the opportunity for your personal development is one reason you should also consider a 95 if you're struggling as a freelancer another reason why you should get a 95 job is your financial goals especially if you're in debt or if you want to complete a building project you have you just have a project that is huge that requires huge financial involvement getting a 95 job will help to offset that faster and to help you from all of the stress of hoping and hoping and years are piling by so yes meeting your financial goals is more possible where you have another income source that is steady stable and assuring now when you have a 95 job and you're also a freelancer it puts you on a check to make sure that you manage your time better so you have this work-life balance you're able to know when you need to work and when you need to rest because you know that you have two jobs now so you'll be forced to be organized to know what to say no to to know the things to get involved more in and how to use your time very well so i think it's a good way to create that whole work-life priority and balance and because of the freelancing thing, you can do it at your own pace. And this one is steady. You will always be at your pace, knowing what to do at every time in place. Again, if you are a freelancer or you want to start a freelancing job and you have a nine to five, freelancing is a good way for you to kind of test the waters, you know, what entrepreneurship feels like, you know, so that you know whether you want to finally pivot fully to freelancing at a point or no. 
instead of you to get out of your job and just freelance, freelancing can be something you do on the side to help you augment your income, learn and know how it is working on yourself. So you also begin to discover things about yourself, whether you can actually manage yourself and your time. Entrepreneurship is huge. What many people don't talk about is that working a 9 to 5 is the easier part. Working a 9 to 5 is easier because at 5 you're done or whatever time you're done. But when you work for yourself, you're, you are retiring from a 9 to 5 to get into 247 kind of job. You work 24 hours as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a freelancer, and it's not even a joke, <laughs> right? So it helps you test the waters, it helps you know what's going to work. Yes, with me. It allows you know what's going to work and what's not going to work so that you're better prepared, right? So the seventh point before I go is that you have job security. So that means no matter what the economy is talking about, what, where, how much the economy is fluctuating or going up, you are, you're not going to have your income dried up at any time, you get? So these are very, very key points. But on the flip side, you also have to make sure that the 9 to 5 job or the job you're getting into allows for freelancing work on the side so that you don't kill your business entirely. Um, and also, I mean, if it's good to go, this is a great way to um, augment your income. Don't you think so? Let me know in the comment section what you think. And let also let me know what the kind of video you want to see next. But make sure you check out all the videos that are already here. You're going to get answers to some other things that might be on your mind. Subscribe and like. Share.